Hello everyone, this is Karan here. You are welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you the review of Havoc OS custom room based on Android 10 for Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. What are the features you get in this custom room? Is everything is working or not? What is the N2 benchmark score? And is Google camera is working? Is MS stock camera is working? Everything. What are the things you have to know? Everything in this video. So don't waste the time. Watch the video till the end and now let's get straight to the video. Okay, so as always, first of all, let me show you the launcher first. I get the launcher launcher because the room does not come with the pre-installed Google Apps. So if you install my Google Apps package, which I flash Nick Micro Google Apps, then you will get the launcher launcher in default. But if you flash Google Apps from OpenGApps.org, you will not get the launcher launcher. So if you want my Google Apps package, you can comment below and I will give you the link for that Google Apps too. So now as you already know about the what is launcher launcher so I will not show you the settings from launcher launcher and now by swiping down you can see the quick setting styles by clicking here you can edit these styles from here and you can customize any tile when you go to th three dot menu you see the columns column landscape columns quick bar rows rows landscape etc these are the things you get in this settings also you can see the header images there which you can customize according to your own preference and let me show you the end to the score first the end to the score which you get in this custom room is 1,72,716 which is I think the first best ever custom score, best ever end to the score in custom room. Previous best was 1,72,600 something. I don't remember actually. Sorry if I'm wrong. And this was this is end to the score you get in this custom room. So it is a good custom. It is a good end to the score actually, which is helpful for you to play games and have good graphics in your custom room with no lag now let's move on to ANX camera what is ANX camera and how to install I have a video already on that so you can go and check it out the photos clicking great 14 megapixel is camera is working portrait mode is also working night side panorama is working pro mode is also working so everything is working no bugs at all in this camera so which is a good thing now let's move on to Google camera and google camera is not working wait let me show you by clicking photo it is four stopped again if you go again click photo and it will keep you tell you camera keeps stopping so google camera is not working you can try google camera 5.1 from my website it will definitely work and if that work for you just make sure to comment below so that everyone knows which google camera is working now let's move on straight to settings what are the settings in you get in this custom room in network and internet you can see the wi-fi calling option will surely be there you can see wi-fi calling call over wi-fi is available so wi-fi calling is available which you can try out and now let's move on to battery battery smart charging option is available so you can set the maximum charging level for your device so your device will not be charged from that further in display you have the option of adaptive brightness it is working perfectly in my case you can try on your own phone and screen timeout screen attention feature is available this is the new feature which you have to first of all you have to assess the permission of camera and then you can manage the device personalization services and now double tap to wake is working so no bugs are there at all also I'll show you something again something new styles and wallpapers are available which you can customize for by default styles are available you can customize your own style also and now dark theme is available as in color fonts are available many fonts are available go and check it out uh, five to six fonts available icon shape you can change okay these are the settings you can you can customize sound panel is almost same privacy panel is almost same location and screen lock as always i didn't got the fingerprint option i don't know why but i didn't got the fingerprint option so which is um, kind of disadvantage for me but if you get the fingerprint option you can comment below and also let's go back accounts accessibility almost all settings are same system you get the languages and input multiple users developer options available in this setting this is based on Android 10 have a OS 3.1 
and now let's move on to havoc settings configuration center you have this in status bar you have the option of clock and date custom logo you can get the havoc logo here you can see and also you can uh, disable this if you don't want this custom logo on your device and brightness level network traffic and carrier label battery percentage status bar icons hd icon is there if you want hd icon on your status bar instead of volt you can check it out sorry if my video is not properly made today because i was not able to make a video so i hope you will understand now let's move on back you got the carrier label option also network traffic option also battery style status bar icon data disabled icon these are the things you get in status bar settings in quick settings you have the option of quick pull down <coughs> battery estimate brightness light position running services icons and ambient display screen buttons gestures available you can see i am using three fingers gesture also also the gestures full screen gestures also the both gestures are available and working perfectly animation miscellaneous these are the things you get in this custom you have the gaming mode also available which you can use to play games so this was from this everything how to install this rom wait let me show you first of all just go to recovery i will recommend you to use pitch black custom recovery you can use any other custom recovery if you want like TWRP or anything i've already made a guide on how to install pitch black recovery how to install TWRP recovery so make sure to watch them if you have any problems in this and i'm not responsible for anything goes wrong with your device just go to wipe advanced wipe dalvi cat system vendor data just swipe to wipe now let's go back go to install here locate the file where you have downloaded that the link is in description go and download the rom from there wait just select that file now swipe to confirm flash and after that you have to install the google apps and you can install the google apps from here swipe to confirm flash again and after that simply reboot system and everything is done so this was all from today's video i hope you like it thanks for watching and goodbye see you in the next video